2019 was quite the rebound for the North football team. As a matter of fact, the Huskies were so excited about keeping that momentum that they took the field at midnight on the very first day practice was allowed. Andrew Garcia caught up with the Huskies early that morning as our countdown to kickoff coverage continues. 44 Sports SIAC High School Preview presented by Gary's Body Shop. After finishing 1-9 in 2018, the North football team turned a corner last year with a 500 finish, their best mark since 2012. Then the second season, you know, we started to see some bearing the fruit of, you know, what the hard work and the, uh, you know, preparation that those kids put in in the weight room in the off season. Um, and, you know, hopefully we continue to see that as, as kids, you know, continue to feed off of that. It was definitely different. Uh, it was a good different. It was really nice to be able to play with the players we had last year, Dylan McKinney, JT Skinner, Alex Smith, uh, playing with guys like that. It, uh, you, don't, you don't get a chance to play with kids like that very often, so to be able to do that and then have the season we had, it was, it was definitely something special to be a part of. The Huskies will look to continue to light up the scoreboard in 2020 as they averaged just over 30 points a game last year, though they will have to do so without a few key pieces of last season's squad. Dylan McKinney, he was, he was the man last year. He, Put up all the numbers. Of course, we had Ethan Brody, but Dylan McKinney just flew past everybody. He was just better than everybody. Definitely up front, offensive line. We made a lot of different changes. Our coaches helped us out with techniques, a lot of different techniques that we didn't necessarily have in the, U or the earlier years. So to be able to have that in the backfield we had with Capleton Presswin, Dylan McKinney, it did definitely helped us out quite a bit. But in order to add to the win column in 2020, the Huskies know they must make some adjustments on defense. We got beat on the deep ball uh, quite a few times. But uh, I think if we clean that up, I think we'll be def I definitely think we'll be very solid. Deep ball threat and letting people inside. We're trying to push everybody to the outside, therefore, so we don't have the easy routes coming to the inside like a quick slant or something. Other than that, uh, yeah, just the deep ball beat us a lot last year, and that cost us a couple games. Other than that, ain't much we can do. Our defense is pretty good. Reporting in Evansville, Andrew Garcia, 44 Sports.